Hi, how are you doing? This is me, Tony, and this is another video for you on YouTube. Today, I have decided to talk to you about um, two new Phoenician inscriptions from the island of Cyprus. The first Phoenician inscription uh, is an inscription that was uh, uh, a bilingual inscription from the city of Tamasos, which was one of the Phoenician um, colonies, and it dates back to the year 363 before Christ. The second inscription is an inscription from the city of Kition, or uh, modern-day Larnaca in Cyprus, and it dates back to the year 341 BC. So let us start with the first uh, uh, Phoenician inscription from Tamasos. It's bilingual, it was written in the Phoenician language and also in the ancient um, Cypriot language. So let us start with this uh, first inscription. Um, as usual, I'm going to read it to you in uh, uh, Phoenician, then I'm going to give you a um, French, English and Arabic translation of it, and at the end I'm going to um, have some comments. So let us start with the first Phoenician inscription. And in Phoenician it reads, Semel Aze Ishyaton Wiatono Menehem Ben Ben Hodesh Ben Menehem Ben Ara La Adonio La Reshep Laita Beirah Etanim Beshanot Shaloshim La Mulch Milchyaton Milch Kitiv Idil Ki Shamo Kolu Ibrohu. This is the first Phoenician inscription and an English translation would read this statue is that which was offered and was erected by Menachem so son of Ben Hodesh son of Menachem son of Arak to his lord to Reshef of Elaita in the months of Etanim and in the 30th year of his reign on Kition and Idalion Surely he heard his voice. May he bless him. In French, this reads: Cette statue est celle qui a été offerte et a été érigée par Menahem, le fils de Ben Hodesh, le fils de Benahem, fils d'Arak, à son seigneur, à Rechef de Leita, en mois d'Etanim et à la trentième année de son règne sur Kition et Idalion. Sûrement, il a entendu sa voix. In Arabic, this reads: "At-Timsal Haza huwa al-lazi qaddamahu wa nasabahu Minahim ibn bin Hodesh ibn Minahim ibn Arak li Sayyidihi al-Ilah Rashaf al-Qubrusi fi shahr Etanim wa fi sanat al-Thalathin li Mulkihi ala Kition wa Idalion bi anhu qad sami'a sawta tadarrugatihi fal yubarikhu." The second inscription um, is the inscription from Kition. It's, I have to uh, uh, say it, it's an incomplete inscription. I couldn't actually find the uh, second part of the inscription, uh, so I've added the um, last uh, sentence uh, in Phoenician, Kisha Monkolo Yebrochu. Uh, to match the other inscriptions, but I actually could not get the full inscription. Nonetheless, I'm going to read it to you. First, in Phoenician, Mizbeh Aze Waroim Shnem Ishyaton Bodu Kuhen Reshep Hetz Ben Yakon Shalem Ben Ashmun Adon Le Adonio La Reshep Hetz in French, this reads Cet hôtel et ces deux lions ont été offerts par Bodo, le prêtre de Rechep de la Flèche, le fils de Yakon Shalem, fils d'Eshmoun Adon, à son seigneur, à Rechep de la Flèche. Sûrement, il a entendu sa voix. Peut-il le bénir in English, this reads, This altar and those two lions were offered by Bodo, priest of Reshep of the Arrow, the son of Yakon Shalem, son of Ashmun Adon, to his lord, to Reshep of the Arrow. Surely he heard his voice. May he bless him. 
in Arabic, this reads, المزبح هذا والأسادان هذان قد قدمهم بودو كاهن الإله رشب السهم ابن يكون شالم ابن أشمون أدون لسيده الإله رشب السهم لأنه سمع صوت تضرعاته فليباركه In those two inscriptions, um, we um, have another idea about what I've already described or uh, talked about in my previous videos about the paponymia, that is calling the grandson after the uh, grandfather. And here we see it in Menahem bin Ben Hodesh bin Menahem. So this is part of the what we call the paponymia that was common in Phoenician and as I said in my uh, previous videos it, it's still a tradition uh, up to this day to call the, the first son after the grandfather's mm -hmm. name. We also learn in this inscription um, another Phoenician month, the month of Etanim, which is apparently the seventh month in the Phoenician calendar and it corresponds to Noah days uh, the month of September, which is the, the month that we are in now, or the month of October. Menachem is a um, name, um, and it's still in use in uh, modern-day uh, uh, Hebrew-speaking uh, real. Um, one of the prime ministers of Israel was called Menachem Begin. He was, was one of the prime ministers when I was um, back in Lebanon um, in the 80s. And this name means the comforter. In, this, in the second inscription, we also learn a new Phoenician word, the word um, aro, which means um, lion. And um, it's similar to the word uh, her that we use nowadays, which means uh, a cat in, in Arabic. Uh, in classical uh, a, a cat, a small cat in Arabic, or a male cat in Arabic, but actually in classical Arabic the line has different uh, names and uh, has multiple um, different kind of names. Also, um, Ar uh, Aro was the uh, name of the line in Phoenician, in Hebrew it's Ariyeh, and here also I remember the, um, the name of uh, uh, another Prime Minister of Israel called Ariel, which could be um, explained or translated as the um, Lion of God, or Haro, Aro, El, uh, the Lion of God, or Har, El, which is the Mountain of God. Um, that's all I have to say to you today. Uh, and I've just realized that I've been with you on um, YouTube for more than two years now and this is my 24th video for you on YouTube. I'm planning to do more videos, God willing, um, in the future. I um, have so many Phoenician inscriptions that uh, I'm going to go through with you. Um, I still have so many other inscriptions from the island of Cyprus and I have been also discovering new Phoenician inscriptions that deserve to be mentioned and deserve to be read. Thank you again for um, watching my videos and uh, see you again in a new video, hopefully shortly. And um, the next video is going to be about a, a, an inscription from Cyprus that was also very instrumental in the uh, deciphering of the Phoenician letters and Phoenician language. Um, God bless you all and see you again in the future. Bye.